Hey guys, um, just a quick update here. Um, I've installed 2019 Inventor. Um, really happy with it so far, it looks really nice. Um, my favorite tool is actually the whole feature, um, the way that they've changed the UI and, uh, and just some little things about how the whole tool works in, in 2019. So um, I'm not gonna go through when this UI change happened. We've had a lot of changes with the tabs along here at the top over the past year with 2018. Um, and essentially, we now have that same um, look and feel with the whole tool. So if I start the whole tool, we get our, our, um, our properties palette over here on the left-hand side. Just like with the changes last year in 2018, this can be docked anywhere around the screen. It can be docked at the top, it can be docked on the right, it can be docked at the bottom, um, and across multiple monitors as well. So um, works really, really nicely. And here we have our new whole functionality. It is the same whole tool that it was before, but it's got some improvements. Um, I really like it. So for example, um, we have top to bottom workflow. Right at the top, I'm just gonna point out that you do have a preview on off button. Really nice for when you're doing complex holes with lots and lots of iterations. It means we can turn the preview off to make things a little bit faster for us. Um, but in this case, nice bracket here, very simple component. We're just gonna add in a couple of holes. Um, we can just literally define our options for our hole, and go through and add as many as we want to. We also have presets. So at the top here, I can choose a preset that I've pre-configured. These are really easy to do, by the way. I'll go through that in just a second. But um, we choose the options for our hole. In this case, I'm going through the component with a counter bore, 20 mil, 28 mil at the bore, 24 mil, and all the way through. I'm gonna go ahead and say, place a hole here using this edge. We'll say this edge we want to have, uh, I don't know, around about um, 80 million. And then from this edge, about 150. And then within the same hole, I'm gonna say, do you know what, drill another hole just here. Also add this one, 80 million by 150. So within the same environment, as long as we're on the same work plane or the same face, we can add as many holes as we need to. It's really nice from my perspective that we can keep doing that rather than having to place a sketch down first. So we no longer have to do placement by sketch. We can still do that if we want to. We just click the sketch points as we go through. But a nice little bit of functionality there. You've got all of your obvious uh, advanced settings such as placing your eye mates um, as you would expect to do so. From there, I'm just gonna say, do you know what? Okay, no problems. Let's say plus to add a new hole. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and say use the same face. Again, you can click on here as many times as you want to place a hole, it really is that simple. Once you've got them, it intuitively knows if you're placing on edges, it's gonna go ahead and use those as references. If I go and single click any of these holes, we can change their references. So it works really, really well. It kind of works as you would expect it to. Nice additions. So on this face, let's just add a larger hole here. So let's say add a hole. Um, this time I'm just gonna add a simple hole I don't want to add any information on any seating. Go all the way through and let's put a 200 mil diameter on here. I'm going to go from the edge here around about 250 to get it in the middle. And I'm going to come down from the top here at around about 300. I'm going to press enter and press OK. That will go ahead and create my hole for me. I'm then just going to pattern these over the other side, like so. So let's grab a mirror. These holes in this hole mirrored around this plane and press OK. So it works really well, uh, it's really quick. And at any time I could say, well actually I wanted to create a preset for that, uh, that larger hole there. I just come into my hole tool, give it a double click or a right click edit, and it takes you back into that configuration page. I can use this, uh, this configuration or this preset here at any time to say, do you know what? Let's go and grab a preset for that configuration. Hit the plus it will create the, pre the preset configuration for you. I can then go in and just say that we have a simple hole. So let's just say it robs, simple, 200. So I'm simple, 200. Um, or rob simple hole 200, whichever way you wanna look at it. We can then take that and say that we want to um, save that. We can say that we want to rename that, delete it, or whatever it might be. We can then change between different configurations of hole, should we want to, on the fly, to really quickly make this exactly what we want. It's a really nice feature in this year. Um, I really like it. 2019 seems um, great in general. We'll put some new videos up of uh, some of the other functionality in due course, but um, one of my favorites so far, 
the whole tool nicely refreshed and revamped for 2019. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers.